the court. What's up guys out here on a washer, Kenmore washer that will not uh, agitate. So I'm just gonna go into the diagnostic mode here. We got the uh, tech sheet out. I'm gonna put this machine in diagnostic mode. Let's see what we got. So. Let's see what codes we got. Alright, so we got a F8 E1. So F8 E1. This is no fill, long fill. So we're gonna check and make sure that the screens are not clogged up on this unit. Now let's get out of this test. There's no more codes here. Now we're gonna go into a self check mode. One of the things I noticed, which I got them both off now, but the cold water side was eventually turned off. And with the code that we're getting, it's showing a slow fill. And when this particular model does not fill within a certain time, it will shut itself down and not agitate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my channel locks and I'm gonna undo uh these water lines here and i'm gonna check these screens in here and make sure they're not clogged up and we're going to turn this on we're going to have the customer to run it and see if they have any more issues with also it i wanted to point out something that the actually hot side is not hooked to the hot side the cold side is not hooked to the cold side now i already got these loosened off just wanted to show you something this is the cold side here so get a little better light on this there we go we're gonna clean these filters out because what will happen is, is it causes a slow fill and that's what happens this thing will pick up on it and it won't uh it won't go all the way through needle nose just give her a little turn there and pull out just like so before you get her out there you go buddy clogged up mm -hmm. let's check the cold side Well, the cold side won't be that bad. No, it looks pretty clean in there, actually. Right, we're good to go here. We're going to hook her back up. Customer said that she had water leaking out, so we know what's going on here. We're gonna defrost this drain and get it unclogged. This is just a few of the many appliances that we work on and encounter on a daily basis. Hey, if you need any help or assistance in the appliance repair field, be sure to check out the link below and become a part of the DC Appliance Repair Tech Tech Group.
This is David with DC Appliance Repair, and I'll see you in the next video.